Hi guys, I'm Kuyasa. Remember me? Are you ready for our crayons? Welcome back. And before we start, let us pray. Okay. Lord, thank you for this day. Lord, please let the kids have fun. And please make them a uh, um please uh, make the crafts back good and let them memorize the memory verse. Let them memorize the word of yours. In his name, Amen. Thanks. So let's go.
Hello, Crayons. Ako si Teacher Ling. And um, I would like to welcome you all um, and thank you for joining us dito sa ating Crayons Ministry. At kung hindi mo pa kasama yung kapatid mo, mga pinsan mo, mga kapitbahay mo, you may invite them to join this um, uh, service through online. And syempre, gusto ko i-high five mo naman ngayon para um, yung mga kasama mo manood ng ating service. Sige nga, i-high five mo nga siya yung katabi mo ngayon. Ayan. So, um, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ito. Ito yung aking tanong sa inyo. Who is Jesus. Sino ba sa inyo ang nakakakilala kay Jesus? Sino sa inyo ang nakakaalam na siya ay Diyos? Si Jesus ay um, pumunta sa earth at nagkatawang tao pero isa din siyang Diyos. At alam nyo, alam nyo ba na namatay si Jesus Christ para sa ating kasalanan? Palagay ko, yung iba sa inyo ay narinig na itong good news na nabanggit ko, no? Pero, meron pa ba kayong ibang mga bagay na alam tungkol kay Jesus? Today, we are going to learn about, um, more about Jesus. At I will, ngayon, mag, isha-share ko sa inyo yung story from John chapter 6 from the Bible, no? At meron akong gustong gawin, gustong ipagawa sa inyo. As we read through John chapter 6, I would like for you to wait for the I am statement. Sabi na nga, I am. And I want you to tell me what phrase, what picture, or um, ano ba yung ginamit ni Jesus Christ to describe himself. Pero... Bago ko bago natin basahin yung John chapter 6, bibigyan ko kayo ng background about sa story na nangyari dun sa John chapter 6. Sa yung iba sa inyo siguro familiar na sa story na to, no? By this point in his life, sikat na sikat na si Jesus Christ. Ang lahat ng tao kilala siya, no? At Marami na rin mga tao na sumusunod sa kanya. Pero hindi naman lahat ng mga sumusunod sa kanya ay talagang nakakakilala na sa kanya. Many people follow Jesus because of all the miracles he did. At itong um, yung background niya sa story natin ngayon is that um, one day Jesus sits at the top of a hill near the Sea of Galilee. Ayan, makikita ninyo sa picture dito, no? Looking around, Jesus saw that there were at least 5,000 people. Ayan. Lalaki lang yun, ha? Hindi pa included yung mga babae at mga bata. Jesus knew that they must be getting hungry. So makikita nyo yung sunlight dyan, parang patanghali na. It's almost lunchtime. So he asked his disciples, Saan ba pwedeng makakuha ng pagkain? Alam nyo ba na um, hindi ganun kadali magpakain ng ganun kadaming tao? That wouldn't be cheap. I don't know what Christmas or a birthday is like at your house. Pero para sa maraming tao, things can get pretty crazy. Family from all over comes to visit. The house is full of people and we spend all day preparing and then eating all that yummy food. Yung iba, mahilig mag fight. Kayo ba ginagawa niyo yun sa bahay niyo? Yung iba naman, nagsasamgyup. Kayo ba, nakapagpakain na ba kayo ng maraming tao sa bahay niyo? Nung birthday ni Niam last month, we prepared for 18 people. Pero, hindi yun, malayo yun dun sa pinakain ni Jesus Christ. Sa story na to, 5,000 people. At, hindi sila lahat nakapagbaon. 
Kaya, lahat sila nakatingin kay Jesus Christ para mapakain sila. Inisip ni Jesus Christ, paano kaya ko kaya sila mapapakain? Si Philip, hindi niya alam kung saan makakakuha ng food. Pero si Andrew, another disciple, said that there was a little boy in the crowd who had brought a lunch of five little loaves of bread and two fish. It was the perfect lunch for a growing boy. Alam niyo ba kung ano yung nangyaring sunod? Ang ginawa ni Jesus, pinaupo niya yung mga tao, nag nagpray siya kay God, nagpasalamat siya sa pagkain, at pinirapiraso niya yung hawak-hawak niyang pagkain na five loaves and two fish. Everyone had enough to eat, and they even had a leftover. Pagkatapos makakain ng lahat ng tao, nakakain. kapag collect pa sila ng 12 baskets of food na sobra. It was really a miracle. Si Jesus, nakapagpakain siya ng limang, limang tao gamit lamang yung baon ng isang maliit na bata. Alam nyo ba na after nang nangyari dito, yung mga tao, gusto nilang um, gawing king si Jesus Christ? Pero ang ginawa ni Jesus Christ, um, Tahimik na umalis siya at pumunta siya sa other side of the lake. And the next day, the crowd followed him and asked why he had left. Jesus had a very interesting conversation with them after that. So, as we read John chapter 6, I will need your help. I will let you read from your Bible or para naman dun sa mga nandito sa classroom, Pwede kayong tulungan ng inyong teacher. Meron ako ng prepare na three sets of paper at meron yung letter A, B, and C. At um, ang babasahin ninyo, um, magpapatulong ako sa inyo na basahin yung bawat letter na prepare ko para sa inyo. Each verse is something that the crowd said in response to Jesus. When I say the letter and Bible verse that is on the paper you are holding, you have to pause the video. And I want you to read that response the crowd had for Jesus. Ako naman, I will read the part of Jesus from the Bible. So, listen closely ha, kasi ayaw kong ma, um, ma-miss out ninyo yung I am statement. So, I will read from... John chapter 6, verse 26. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. You want to be with me because I fed you, not because you understand the miraculous signs. But don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. For God the Father has given me the seal of approval. So, ito. Gusto ko basahin ninyo itong um, line na ito. So, basahin ko naman yung chap- verse 29. This is, only, this is the only work God wants from you. Believe in the one He has sent. So, basahin ninyo yung nasa letter B. Verse 30 and 31. And sabi sa verse 32, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. Now, he offers you the true bread from heaven. The true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the word. So, ano yung sinagot ng mga tao? Basahin niyo yung letter C. On verse 35, Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. 
whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But you haven't believed in me, even though you have seen me. However, those the Father has given me will come to me and will, I will never reject them. For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. And this is the will of God, that I should not lose even one of all those he has given me, but that I should raise them up the last day. For it is my Father's will that all who see his Son and believe in him should have eternal life. I will raise them up at the last day. Amen. And thank you very much for helping me read John chapter 6. Now raise your hand if you caught the I am statement Jesus made in this passage. Naalala nyo ba kung saan doon? Ayan. Nandun siya sa verse 35. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Alam nyo, gustong-gusto ko tong story na to kasi Jesus loves to help people learn, not by lecturing them, but giving them stories. A picture that they can hold on to to help them remember an important lesson better. In this passage of the Bible though, the crowd just doesn't get it. Sa verse 33, sabi niya, Yung bread of God, it is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. The crowd had been complaining, saying, God performed miracles for Moses and the Israelites in the desert when God sent manna from heaven for them to eat. Talaga ba palagay niyo na interesado silang malaman kung Ano yung life-giving bread from heaven? Or gusto lang talaga nila ng miracles? All the crowd really wanted was for Jesus to feed them. Gaya ng pagpapakain niya sa mga tao, sa 5,000 people the day before. Pero hindi talaga sila interested about the bread of life. They wanted their tummies to be filled, but Jesus wanted to fill their hearts. And sino sa inyo ang mahilig sa bread? Diba? Usually, um, gusto natin yun makain almost all the time. Yung cereal natin, may gawa siya sa flour na nagpo-form ng bread. Yung sandwich natin, yung breadcrumbs kapag gumagawa ng fried chicken yung parents nyo. At saka yung favorite kong pizza, no? Bread is everywhere in our lives. It's hard to imagine not having it. Since it is everywhere in our lives, the people Jesus was talking to could imagine it pretty well. Kaya nung nabanggit ni Jesus Christ yung bread, nagutom sila. They knew what it was like to go hungry. So when Jesus started talking about a bread that would always keep you full, na-excite yung mga tao. Pero... Yung ino-offer ni Jesus Christ is even better than food to fill empty stomachs. When Jesus says he is the bread of life, he means that he wants to fill our empty hearts. Without Jesus, we would go hungry. We may have food in our bellies, but spiritually, we would have nothing without him. We could read our Bibles pray, go to church, and serve others all we want. But all of that is pointless without Jesus. It's like pizza without the crust. Or spaghetti na meatballs lang, walang spaghetti. Yung cheeseburger, walang tinapay. Yung red velvet cake, pero icing lang. It's the bread that makes these foods so good and filling. Yun yung nagpapabusog sa atin. It is Jesus that makes going to church, praying, reading our Bibles, and serving others have meaning. Jesus, the bread of life, fills us up for all eternity 
when we do one thing. Ano kaya yung one thing na yon? Ang one thing na yon, he tells us in verse 29. The crowd asked what work God wanted them to do. And Jesus says, This is the only work God wants from you. Believe in the one he has sent. Sino ba yung pinadala ni God? Siyempre si Jesus. When we believe that Jesus is God, He came to earth to die in our place for our sins, He fills us up with the bread of life. He gives meaning to everything we do and lets us live forever in heaven with Him. Alam nyo, nabanggit ko nga kanina, di ba? Favorite ko yung pizza. Masarap yung muffins. Kanina nag-bake kami ng banana bread. But nothing will ever satisfy me like the bread of life that is Jesus Christ. So, if you want to receive the bread of life, if you want to receive Jesus Christ to be with you, to be Lord over your life, I would like to ask you to pray with me. As we all seek the bread of life and ask His help to avoid a life of sin. So, Let us pray this prayer. Lord God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, as the bread of life. We are very important in your sight. And I would like to receive you in my life and in my heart. Please forgive me for the wrong things I do and help me to be the kind of person you want me to be. Help me to always be hungry for you, Jesus, to receive your love and goodness. Help me to share your love to so many more people so they too will know you and love you. You are now king over my life, always and forever. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Sa inyong lahat, no? Thank you for um, being with us today and um, learning about the bread of life. I would like to invite you to stay and listen for the memory verse and the crafts. Thank you and God bless you all. Hi kids, it's memory verse time. Ako nga pala si Kuya Owen. And our memory verse for the day is John 6, verse 47. I tell you the truth. He who believes has everlasting life. John 6, verse 47. And now, let us proceed in Arts and Crafts. Hello Crayons! It's craft time! Ako si Ate Jojo. And samahan niyo ko sa paggawa ng ating craft for for today. So today we will do a bookmark that will remind us that Jesus is the bread of life. So um, get ready and let's start our craft.
you have fun guys and you memorize the memory verse come back come back next Sunday see you bye